he saw. Yeah, you see that little contact? I think that ticked oh, off, that pile off right there. And right there. Yeah, I think he just got frustrated and got them both wrecked. Pit road is open. Regan. Mike the night car, Chase Elliott. That run was getting better compared to the cars around him in terms of speed that he had for the tires that he had. He's been pretty happy with the car all day long. You see four tires. Jamie? Christopher Bell as well. He's been the class of the field today, led 63 laps. Really happy with it. The call was Kansas City Chiefs. That means he's pitting right sides only. Christopher Bell leaves the off pit road. Now the team Penske Fords. our Fox Emmy award-winning audio department bringing you Crank It Up as you saw Christopher Bell take sixth from Chase Briscoe. Austin Cindric out in front of teammate Ryan Blaney by seven-tenths of a second with 80 laps to go. I've been up, I've been down. Take up. Taking just right side tires and here comes Bell. We'll make this stop with 46 laps to go. Jamie? His pit crew won the pit stop challenge just a couple of weeks ago. They're on the wall and ready as their driver makes a long trek down pit road. Remember, they told him he didn't have to wait on fuel here. Just one can. Christopher, like he's been saying all day, the car is good. No need for adjustments, Regan. Billy Reddick in the 45 car, been battling to handle it back and forth a little bit all day long. Right now, he needs to be clear, but it feels too loose on entry and exit. Those Toyotas are away. Take a look at Pit Road. Note how it's three feet wider than it was last year. They took out the steel guardrail on the inside of that wall, added safer barrier to the outside of it. But sure, it's getting in and out of the pits easier. Brad Keselowski takes over the lead. Seven seconds up on uh, Justin Haley who continues to impress. Well, there you see it. There, the 20 car goes by. Red Keselowski's still in the lead, hasn't cycled, but you saw the first car you saw was Blaney, that 12 car. Now he's got to go run them guys down. They're talking about Christopher Bell. But gosh, he comes up. Laps to go from the pit stop. And Blaney's still having trouble with Bubba. Cannot get around him. This is exactly what Christopher Bell wants. Watch, there he is. He's there, guys. Wallace and Blaney for fourth. Bell looking on. Kyle Larson has taken over the lead of this race. Here's some Blaney radio. For the win, he asked. Win. Yeah, yes. absolutely for the win. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Them too. And look how much Blaney easier Blaney he got around Bubba Wallace. It took Blaney five laps to get around him. Same car going out water. He's up front. He's there. When we look at Christopher Bell's car this time. The hood of that car landed on his feet. He's okay. Yeah. That 
was way too close. Larson the leader, Bell and Blaney, 13 seconds back of the lead, but Larson will need a pit stop. Well, this is what we've talked about all day. It's hard to finish that pass on the exit of the corner and roll the speed into the throttle like you need to because you need the whole racetrack to, to finish that pass. So Brian Blaney, he knows what this is for, and, and this is for most likely the race win. He's trying to find that grip on the outside, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold it. There's the time he gets flat. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's what you're talking about. I see it. Still holding strong through three and four. He's not able.